Right, righto guys, so it's the night before we head off on this micro tinny trip with um, just me and Jared. And after our last tinny trip, Earth Track supplied us with another spotlight, another spotlight to throw on the front of the tinny. So I'm going to throw this on now, mount it all up, and I've just got a little, I just bought a pre made cheap wiring harness that I can just, I've um, put a battery in the front here now. Um, just to put a bit of weight in it while big boys in the back there and by myself um, I'm gonna run the wire down the back there and and have the switch near the sounder there. So See if I can't butcher this one, but I, I, I think it's just pretty much plug-and-play. So let's see how we go Let's see how this bugger goes at night too. Cheers to the guys at Earth Track. Thanks so much guys. Really appreciate it. Righto guys, welcome to another episode. Uh, myself and my cousin Jared, you would have seen him in many episodes. We've decided to go on a, well, what I'm calling a micro tinny trip. Um, it's just an overnighter in our region because we're still in the COVID-19 um, part of our lives, which is very bizarre to me. I mean, I'm never ever taking this freedom um, for granted again. So I've got the tinny loaded up. I threw a, um, I threw a spotlight on the front, an LED spotlight from Earth Track. The guys supplied us with one after our last tinny trip, after me um, whinging about, you know, no light, and and after seeing Kreber's spotlight, of course, as well, which was bloody handy. So hooked that up last night just before packing. Um, so we're heading within our region down to the Pinjarra area. Um, and we're just going to have a look down the Murray River a little bit. Jared goes here a fair bit, so and he knows a, a few nice little spots to park up for the night. Um, so it's literally, oh, I think it's about 5:30 now. Um, so hopefully we're in the water by nice um, sunrise, and I think it'll be a beautiful day because it's nice and cool. I think we're going for about 25 degrees. I know I'm speaking quickly, I'm just super bloody excited, you know, I'll, I'll never take it for granted again, getting out, because I've missed filming, I've missed it so much, so, anyway, we're going to hit the road now, we'll see you at the boat ramp, I'll show you through everything and how we've packed it, I see you soon guys. From the mud, there's dirt on my hands, strong like a tree, there's roots where I stand, oh I've been running. Right guys, so I hope you can see me alright. We just pulled up at the boat ramp and it's packed. It's bloody packed. Um, now nah, we're the only two here because it's nice and early in the morning. Hopefully we should be on the water when that sun sets and I can't wait for that moment because there's been a bit of smoke around Perth and uh, uh, Jared reckons it might be a nice, you know, hazy pink sky. So that'll be really nice. I, I can't contain myself guys, I've got to be honest. But that sun's coming up quick so we're unstrapping all the boats getting them all ready to go, um, doing a double check on everything, making sure we got the alcohol, that's about it. And then uh, we're all good to go. Let's get on the water. Looking forward to it. How about you, Jazz? Welcome yeah, back, mate. Jazz. Okay, good to see him. <laughs> distancing, we're distancing. <laughs> Not tonight, mate, I'll be cuddling you. <laughs> um, this is Jared's, this is Jared's tinny that he got recently. Um, of course, he always comes up, like I was saying before, he comes up with these magic little ideas that he 
builds himself basically all the time. So have a look at this. This is a 340 Queen Trex. Yep, roof topper. So he's planned for that to go on top of his cruiser now. So he made that boat roller all himself so he can just pretty much lift this up, rest it on, on there, and then use the winch to pull it forward on the front. Absolutely beautifully made as I wouldn't expect anything less if I'm going to be honest from that family so and also this LED bar I'll show you a bit later on when it's in uh, a bit better daylight but a very smart idea because that's if you can see that sort of sticks above the boat there but he's made a little bracket that he can just fold it down quickly locks into place and then he can throw it straight up top there nice little light Evinrude um, donk on the back that you can lift around how much fuel have you brought mate? I've got 30 litres all up yeah, beauty. So See this thing would run off the smell of an oily rag, or, or you reckon with this weight, it's <laughs> going to test it she's out old, with the weight. <laughs> now nah, all packed up. Obviously, Jared's got a boat bag as well, the um, Grab Me Gear boat bag, which have come in so bloody handy, thanks to Jimmy at Grab Me Gear. And then we've just got my old... Oh, Bung's just double-checking. <laughs> I always check mine as well, so... <laughs> um, but yeah, I've got the same thing. I've got, uh, I think it's 44 litres, because these are 22-litre Jerry. So I've got them both filled up. Um, not sure what we're getting up to today. Jared's got a bit of a plan, but there's not really much of a plan, um, which is the way I like things. We've got a, a bit of a route we want to follow, but it's basically just about exploring and having a good time and not taking anything for granted because we haven't been out in so bloody long due to this disease thing, uh, due to this uh, virus. So let's just get out there, mate, and, let's, and hopefully the bloody engine starts. Come on, old girl. See you guys soon. Oh, that water's beautiful. Righto, let's get the cars locked up. Um, all locked up nice and secure, parked up. And then let's uh, see if we can't get this little uh, temperamental Jono started. Righto guys, we're on the water now. The engines both started, which is a good bloody sign. Like first or second pull, believe it or not. Um, always smoky this bloody thing, so I don't know if I'm adding too much oil or not enough oil. I, I must admit, I pretty much guessed it. But um, there's Jared there, sits beautifully, sits beautifully on the um, on the water over there. How's that LED light bar? Turn it on. Yeah, beautiful. That's a uh, combo of spread and spot, eh? Perfect. Yeah, good, handy idea. So anyway, going to turn the camera off for a bit, enjoy this sunrise, and enjoy ourselves uh, gaining a bit of ground. So can't wait. Looking forward to it. We'll see you soon, guys. See what we get up to. So we're just coming out to the main entrance of the estuary there. I, I've got a, uh, I bought a windsock for the, um, for the microphone, so hopefully that works even a little bit better now. Oh, nice and flat in here. I don't think we have to go through anything any too choppy or anything like that, but... We only seen a couple of blokes at the uh, at the boat ramp loading their boat to go um, to go squidding out in the ocean, but uh, yeah, it's just us. We've only we, we haven't seen any other boats. Just down the estuary there, you're getting jealous of all the guys who have the big boats and the huge houses. <laughs> oh, I get just as much fun out of me tinny, mate. Don't worry about that. got over that channel that was wild you did well to hold that man honestly yeah, especially in a punt little car topper I tried to get as much footage as I could but he held it well I mean for spots like that it's better to go quicker keep the nose up eh? Um, that did you happy with that yeah I'm surprised <laughs>
Yeah, yeah. It's a, as I said, when as we were saying just off a of camera, when you go slower, you're sort of getting more splash in the boat. So you're better off just powering on at sort of what 15? What was it, about 15 knots, 18? Yeah. So no, that was nice. Now we're sort of in the um, where are we now? Start of Murray. Yeah, start of Murray. Um, yeah. Yeah, sort of splits. You can go one way. Yeah. To the Murray, and then the other side um, heads up Serpentine River. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, Jared um, thought we'll go and have a look at Serpentine River, so why not? It's calmed off now, and uh, that sun can dry off all of our um, our wet gear. Jimmy, the bloody grab me gear bags, mate. You saved me ass there. I didn't want me Pringles getting wet. I'd be bloody devastated. <laughs> oh, just literally hit eight o'clock. Bloody beer time, innit? <laughs> oh, anyway, guys, we're gonna head up this um, this uh, inlet anyway, and we'll we'll show you what it looks like from the sky. What a beautiful bloody day. Righto, so we're not even bloody out of the channel markers yet. We're already hitting weed on the bottom. It's quite shallow here. Had to throw the old tinny in the shallow drive. <laughs> this is where the adventure starts, baby. Jared did um, warn me that it does get a bit shallow here, but I think we should be okay. Good thing about his, he hasn't. I don't think he's even in shallow drive yet. So. Doesn't look too bad here. I might have just hit a shallow patch. I'm not sure. I'll keep it in shallow drive just until it does get deeper. Should have hooked up the sounder while I had a battery in the bloody boat. Do do, idiot. Oh, I can't wait to explore the rest of this river. So we're actually on the Serpentine River now, I think. I was just about to get the drone up in the air and I hit a bit of weed. It got quite shallow just out like near the middle of that channel there, just behind me. But, oh, nice and flat near, absolutely stoked. So just after that rough bit of chop out there, I think what we're gonna do now, there's a nice little, nice little bit of bush, um, nice little bit of beach there. We're just gonna pull up and just reorganize everything everything got thrown around a little bit um, during that rough ride so the weather's turning it up as you can see bloody hell doesn't usually happen but paradise mate amazing the things you see so we're oh, maybe a quarter up the oh I shouldn't say that because I don't know how far we are actually and I don't know how far it goes but we're a bit up the old Serpentine River and then it goes into like a um, a nice big opening which is basically what we want to get to today but amazing the stuff you see have a look at this thing look at this weather guys bloody beautiful telltale strong I'm a happy man, happy man. So we're still going guys, it's a little bit shallow here. Um, we've just stopped here um, just to have a bit of a walk around, but we can still keep going I think. Um, that's the beauty about these tinnies though, you can just get anywhere, especially that thing. Look how much that's sitting in the water. What, what, what would you say, about 100 mil? Yeah. Well designed, aren't they? <laughs> that's mint, isn't it? Nah, both the boats are, are running well. Um, how long you reckon been going for now? About an hour? 45 minutes? Yeah. yeah, you're only going at basically idle speed. But um, rip a day. It looks like it gets uh, tight up there. I don't know how shallow it's going to go, but worst come to worst, we go back to that fork again. 
and keep going around. We just thought we'd take the tight spot and keep going with it, but it's absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna have a bit of a walk around, a bit of a wait around. The sun's out now. Um, oh, you got it. Yeah. That was easy yeah, enough. Yeah, that next pin up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so. yep. Jared reckons his tinny, uh, for anyone who might be thinking of getting a tinny like that, yeah. unloaded. How Maybe much did it weigh? Fifty kilos. That's not bad. That's two blokes could drag that easy, or one, yep. especially in the amount that sits in the water. Being a punt, what is it? Yeah, What's it uh, called? A, a V nose um, punt. V nose punt. Yeah, handy. Shit, I thought this water was quite stagnant, but we're moving. <laughs> anyway, guys, um, it's only hit what eight, nine, nine thirty now. We'll stop in a couple of hours for lunch, yeah. liquid lunch, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's tight here, guys. <laughs> oh, that was good fun. That little bit. I had to sort of step up halfway in the um, in the tinny to get the weight up there as well. I tell you what, since I put a battery in the tinny, it helps with the weight displacement as well, which is handy. God, look how clear the water is. Bloody beautiful. Shallow. <laughs> it's surprising with the amount of weight I have on board, it's good that most of it is up the front because it's sort of lifting the back up, even with my fat ass at the back. I'm sitting on the wrong side as well. <laughs> not hit that one. Hey Jazz, keep in the middle there. <laughs> well this is just the best fun that I've had in a couple of months I'll tell you. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna say that's probably about 300 mil of water, believe it or not. So I think we're coming back out to the main entrance now. It's getting a bit deeper, which is good. Damn, I'd do a whole tinny trip with tight stuff like that. I find that a lot more fun, that's wicked. That is good fun. <laughs> yeah, nice and deep here, I think we're good. Drops off here. Look at this scenery, absolutely beautiful. Oh well, I'll see you at the next bloody shallow bit. <laughs> Down the Serpentine River. Now we're coming up to a big opening. It's a big lake. Jared has the name of the lake on his phone. I can't see it on my Hema. Um, and it's something I can't pronounce, if I'm going to be honest. Oh, I can't wait to check it out because there's a heap of little inlets that come off of it, and we can't wait to check them out as well. We're sort of pushing for a bit of a, um, a night trek back. That would be good. Um, or to camp spot. A night trek to camp spot, that would be good. I want to test the um, the Earth Track spotlight out. It's a different different model than the one I've got on my car, so I'm I'm eager to see what it's like. Oh, she's opening up. Absolutely beautiful. It's literally only just past 10 o'clock now. We don't know where we're having lunch. We don't know what time we're having lunch. Is that shallow? 
and it's just gotten shallow. Better throw him in shallow drive again. <laughs> All the way across? Yep. might take a little while because we want to get to that other side there's an inlet on the northeast side no nah, there's an inlet on that side and there's one on this side as well so it's nice and early we want to check everything out we want to have a good old explore while everything's running nice and that so i'm a bit jealous of how little that sits in the water it's beautiful and the lightness of that motor absolutely perfect 100 <laughs> percent I got pulled up in the other video about how much I say 100% so guys I'm watching that apologies this is too much fun guys sun's coming out shortly meant to be partly cloudy today just staying in gear whoa this is like 200 mil deep <laughs> still going churning up sand but I might might even have to move to the middle guys see how we go <laughs> That was a mission to get across there. I mean, I don't know if we took the best route. I mean, on the Hema, it showed two sandbars there, and then we went straight between them both. Um, but that was shallow drive the whole way. I reckon it wasn't much deeper than 300 mil. Um, the old Dart did well. I'm very impressed with it. It um, must be a good combination of the height that the motor's sitting at and that, so I'm stoked. Jarrah's just putting in now. Both the boats have been running bloody beautiful today, which I'm really stoked about. Sun's about to pop its head out. Birds everywhere. Now, the next thing is, we don't know how shallow that is. I mean, got a couple of pelicans and that sitting over there on a sandbar, <laughs> which doesn't make it look that promising. But we're going to keep going down that way there um, and see how far we can get. These shallow drives, you can go forever. That's the beauty about tinny trips. The worst come to worst, I can jump out of that tinny and walk it for as long as I want because it just floats on nothing, as well as Jared's as well. So I think it's getting around 11, mate. I think it's time to pour a brewski. <laughs> How'd you go? Yeah, <laughs> shallow out through there. Yeah, no, you sort of can't stay out of um, idling speed. No. Nah because it just digs it back down and churns up the dark, the dark bloody soil. So anyway, just gonna chill here for a bit and see how far we can get down there once, um, once we mix a drink, I reckon. Get back to ya. We bloody made it. We're stoked, absolutely stoked. A lot deeper here. Oh guys, we've had a bit of a battle. We were cruising along the Serpentine River still. We're here by one of the main roads. I'm pretty sure this might be, oh, I think it might be Pinjarra Road. I'm not sure, but anyway, we're coming on under the bridge and all of a sudden Jared's um, outboard just turned off, conked out. So we pulled up and uh, thanks to Shano, one of Jared's good mates, um, he was able to get us running again. Um, absolute champion, I mean, not quite <laughs> hopefully he's over there just making sure it's all good but we'll see how we go um touch wood i think everything's going to be okay uh thanks to shano um but yeah absolute champion i think he was on the phone for like a good 45 minutes to an hour so what a legend good to have mates like that we could sensibly because it's getting around 1 1 30 now um, and after those engine troubles we thought it might have been a bit uh, it got really shallow just after the bridge there so we might tackle that another time um, but what we're thinking is Jared knows a really nice spot which uh, means we backtrack a bit it's been an awesome bit of river to go down so I don't mind going back but what we're gonna do is backtrack to a spot that Jared knows um, that, that we know is a really good camp spot. So 
Um, the sun has just decided to pop out. Absolutely beautiful. We've got a nice chilled out drive to the campsite. And I think we've had lunch now. Um, KFC wraps. Yes. And I reckon next time I'll see you, we'll be at the campsite, guys. So a couple of hours of, uh, of nice chilled out river driving ahead of us. Bloody love it. <laughs> awesome, guys. See you at the campsite. Cheers. Righto guys, we're here at camp. Uh, it took a while to get here. Um, a couple of beautiful little um, little creeks to get up, but uh, this is out the back um, of a spot that Jared knows. So, And another bloody thing, I lost me bloody drone. I had some beautiful footage off of it for you guys, but unfortunately it's one of those things that happens. Jared's cooking dinner tonight. Jazz, what are you having, mate? What are we making? What are you making? Stew, mate, pre-made stew. Yeah, pre-made stew. He's already put it in the camp oven. Lamb cutlets, mm. potatoes, carrots. Yep, because it's quite cold here and it's bloody, it's going to be fresh tonight. Anyway, <laughs> bugger the drone. Let's get on it, dude. What do you think? Okay. Sure. If we don't see you later, we'll see you in the morning. Cheers, guys. Righto guys, good morning. Um, we're just packing up, it was a beautiful night last night and what an absolute perfect spot Jared found. Um, mate, we'll definitely have to return here again, I reckon. Yeah, for sure. There's so many little inlets to, um, to explore and stuff like that, so definitely be back here, that's for sure. So, very devastated about the bloody drone, but I must admit I've had a good run with that thing. Um, the amount of times that it saved me from hitting a tree and stuff like that, you know, I probably <laughs> probably got what I deserve right now, to be honest. <laughs> but anyway, I'll sort out getting another one, a little cheap second handy or something like that, and then we'll keep bloody powering on. Anyway, the plan is get these boats going and then pretty much power back to the um, to the boat ramp um, where we first started. We are, it's probably about 7.30 right now. Um, Jared and I sort of decided, because we've got sort of a two, three hour hike back to the boat ramp, we thought we'd sort of get up, not bugger around, not have brekkie, just quickly uh, pack the tinnies and off we go. Um, to try and save a bit of time, but what a beautiful time of the morning. A um, little bit bloody devastated that I lost my drone, but you know, shit happens. Um, it would have been some beautiful footage on there, I reckon, but um, I was very close to jumping straight back in after it. <laughs> I would have had no chance of finding it, I reckon. So, But anyway, can't let that stuff get you down. I'll, I'll get another one. I'll get a little cheap second handy or something, but uh, it's not the end of the world. As long as I've got the old good camera, um, I'll be right. But i always wishing that I could stay another night, you know. It's just, I'm always spewing. But thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, and I'll see you on the next episode. I hope you enjoyed. Cheers.